In an effort to have better hooks in the beginning, I wanted to record this because I had already recorded the entire wash dishes with me video and then I realized it took too long to get to the point. So today I was very overwhelmed. I've been out of town, I've been at conferences and just been totally overwhelmed. I reached out to my group uh, chat uh, friends and I let them know that I'm really just about to take a shower and, and get back in the bed because that's just how overwhelmed I am. And it is just so important to have a great support system because the one of the first comments was please go wash your ass and then it was block and tackle go to the grocery store because they know that's my happy place then do a little bit of cleaning up and then see if that resets you um, so they gave some other great advice I'm going to show you how I did it so please stay tuned for wash dishes with me episode all right we're here today for another episode of wash dishes with me haven't done one of these in a while because I haven't had anything to say uh, but today I do and so I'm going to run this water real quick So uh, today is April the 22nd, um, I think. Uh, it's Monday, and uh, I've gone to at least five conferences slash summits slash 10x business coach certification since March the 20th, um, and it has been very limited time in between. So I was at the International Leadership Summit in Dallas, Texas with Pastor T.D. Jakes and his team uh, in March 20th or 21st. I'll put the dates up. It was absolutely phenomenal. And then after that, I came back home. I've done the, I'm now a proud certified 10X business coach through Grant Cardone. So I did that for a couple days in Miami. Came back home for Easter and then flew back to Miami for GrowthCon 2024, which was absolutely phenomenal. They had some great speakers there. And then when I left Miami, I came home for a week. And then this past week, I was in New Orleans for Monday through Thursday. Got back home Thursday night, unpacked, got up Friday morning, went to Charlotte for the Medipreneur Summit and that I've been on the planning committee for. So I'm glad it went well, but I'm also glad that it is over. And so I say all that to say a lot has happened in the last 30 days. I haven't been home that much. Um, I haven't been in touch with a bunch of my emails like I should because I've just been out of town. And so today I was feeling very, very, very overwhelmed. Um, and this was probably within the last 45 minutes. Just, I mean, just totally overwhelmed. I hadn't showered yet. It's about a uh, quarter to four. Hadn't showered. Only took two calls this morning. Um, the house is an absolute mess because I haven't cleaned up while I've been uh, away. I just tidy up and keep going. And so it is an absolute mess in here to my standards. So it's, it's just a lot. And then last night I wasn't feeling so great. And I slept in till about, I slept in till about 1230. And so it's just been a lot going on. And I was about to just shower and get back into bed. And what I did was I contacted my friends in group chat and I let them know. I was like, yo, I am struggling today. I've only taken two calls. Um, and one of the calls was frustrating because it was with another vendor that supports a client of ours. And, and to me, sometimes they're just not great partners. And it bothers me when people don't do good customer service. And so that vendor was rolling out something new and that's something that we usually have access to, but we can't now because we are uh, technically a vendor also. And I'm like, it was only, it would only take you a few steps to keep the old process without putting it on the client, but whatever, everybody didn't think like I do. Uh, so anyways, that, that occurred. And then I just started looking at my to-do list and then come to find out, I've, um, another thing I've been awarded the outstanding alumni award at the University of South Carolina College of Pharmacy, which is phenomenal. I'm so excited about that. Um, but I misunderstood. I thought I was supposed to give remarks at the white coat ceremony, which is in August usually. I even ordered a new suit for it, and then today I get a text message, and they say, hey, Renata, how would you like your name on the program? And I'm like, what program? And they said, for convocation. And I'm like, uh, okay, when is convocation? And it, they're like, it's next Wednesday, May the 1st. I'm supposed to give remarks. I don't know what happened to the communication. So I'm like, okay, I'm 
I'll be there, so I've got to figure that out. So I've just got a lot on my plate, and I'm just like completely overwhelmed. I have all these ideas and things that I want to do from being at GrowthCon, from being at Medipreneurs. Just so many great things have happened, have inspired me. My mind's always moving. I've got all these ideas jotted down, things that for my business, just so much that I want to do, but then I still got a lot of administrative stuff to do. I do have a virtual assistant, so I am able to put some stuff on that person to do, but then there's still things that I just got to do myself. So I was literally about to crawl, to take a shower and crawl back in the bed because <laughs> I didn't want to deal with, with any of it. And I'm like, you know what? If I just go to sleep, I won't realize that the house is dirty. I won't realize that I've got all this stuff to do and I'll just reset later on tonight or in the morning. Well, thank God for good friends and a good circle who can help you out in, at, at, at certain times. So in group chat, my first friend, the first thing I, I told her, I said, well, I'm going to go and shower at least. And um, and my and she replied, she said, please go wash your ass. And, and so <laughs> I was like, you know, that would be helpful. And then my other friend was like, well, why don't you go to the grocery store and clean up um, start cleaning, then go to the grocery store. That may reset you because, if, as y'all know, I love to go to the grocery store. Uh, so it's a task, but it's also a reward for me at the same time because um, I do like to go to the grocery store. And it usually does reset my mind. So I'm going to go to the, I said, that's a great advice. And then when I got out of the shower, I just felt better. Um, and they're correct. I can do a little bit of cleaning, do a shower. Um, actually, I already done the shower, so I can go ahead and go to the grocery store and do a little bit of cleaning up and the worry about the work piece of it but I, what i really need to do when i get overwhelmed like this is write everything out that i've got to do and that is very 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 important because what happens is you have all these things in your head that you're supposed to do but part of the frustration comes because you don't have it written down uh, or you don't have it in a to-do list and I've got some cool tools that I've used recently, like Microsoft To Do, and I love it. You can actually um, link it to your Outlook, and if you've got flagged emails, it'll put it in a place. Then you can add your task, and then you can do a specific day by day. So it's, it's called My Day, and I can show it to you, but it's pretty cool. So it kind of keeps you organized. Um, but today, I don't want to use that per se. Today I need to go old school and just write down everything that I need to do, just dump it out of my head, meaning things that I need to get done today, okay? So it's not what I needed to get done all week. What do I need to have done today to prepare for tomorrow or in exchange, uh, in response to something that was already due? Um, so I think if I can get that done, both what I need to get done for work as well as what I need to get done, I want to get done in this house, that's going to be very beneficial to me and then i can check everything off uh, one by one as i get it completed and then what i will feel is a whole lot better because i didn't get back in the bed i didn't just give up on the day um, i actually went in and actually overcome the overwhelming feeling and actually got something accomplished. So one of the things was the dishes. So I've completed those and I've gotten them um, squared away. I do want to cook tonight. I am so sick of eating out. I don't know what I'm going to cook, um, but I'll figure it out when I go to the grocery store. I'm just, I'm sick of eating out. And then I also want to meal prep because I have got to get off this weight. Uh, I, I hit 190 pounds a few weeks ago, but the sad part is I have stayed at the 190. Um, and so usually if I hit it, it maybe because, you know, water, pizza, whatever. But I've stayed at the 190. <laughs> Even had a couple of 192, 193 days. So I, I don't want to get stuck at this 190. I know how that feels because that's how it was when I got to 170. I stayed there for a while. And then when I got to 180, I'm like, oh, it's just uh, stress or the pizza I ate. And then I stayed at 180 for several weeks and then it turned into several months and so I don't want to do that with this 190 so just want to take a total reset go into the grocery store and I'm going to meal prep for this week and I'm just going to see where it takes me um, I do have some goals on what kind of weight loss I want to lose I'm not going to say it on here for what I want to lose this week um, we'll just hopefully make a video on Monday of next week and show you the actual results so that's that what we're going to do now is I want to show you how I actually do going to do my to-do list um, so, and then we can mark everything off that I actually get done. 
So first off, I'm going to let you see what I actually use. Um, and I've got several different to-do lists. But this one right here just says today. And then it has the date. It has what your top priorities are. Is it zooming in? Has your top priorities and then it has room for what do you need to do tomorrow don't forget and then notes and then what i really like is this side over here that has all this room for you to just put things in and then check it off as you go so i am going to use this to start with and just dump everything that i know i need to do today and maybe a couple things for tomorrow i can just put on that tomorrow side but not unlike most days it only includes what i've got to do for work this one right here is going to include what I need to do all the way around. Like I literally unpack Thursday night from New Orleans just to repack for Charlotte on Friday. So now I need to unpack my Charlotte bag. Uh, so that would actually go on the actual list. So let's take some time and do that. So today's date is April 22nd. It's 425. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the sheet and so let's see what we got. I don't know how this is going to work. I may just talk through it and then I'll show you what I got. Who cares how I write it? Okay, so the things that I got to do today, I know for sure is I need to unpack my luggage. Um, dishes are done. I need to finish cleaning the kitchen. I did the dishes but the floors still need to be done as, as well as the countertops none of that's been done i also need to sweep the floors so i'm going to put that on here i would love to mop because mopping would really make my life better right now i'm going to put it on the list but it is not going to be a priority if i get to it i get to it if i don't i don't uh, so i'll put mop the floors on here um, and then I'll probably put a little asterisk by it just so I know if I get that done, that's great. Um, but it's not something that I just absolutely have to get done. And I really need to figure out how you just get this to focus in um, versus focusing on me. But we'll figure that out another day. See, something else to add to the to-do list. All right, so I'm out the floors, sweep the floors, clean the kitchen, unpack luggage. I need to clean both bathrooms, but I usually uh, split it up. So I put it into twos. Uh, so clean um, hall bath and then clean master bath. And I do that because I get to do two check marks instead of doing two tasks and only having one check mark. It's something about checking the things off the list that makes me feel more productive. So I'll break those up into two. I don't go as far as clean the toilet of the hall bath, clean the sink of the hall bath. I don't do that. So just the way you chunk it up. Uh, so I need to do both of those things. I need to tidy up living room because there is blankets. And stuff for everywhere uh we built a fire last night yes april the 21st it was cold as i'll get out when i got home last night or yesterday evening so i did build a fire I do believe that's going to be the last one for this year so i need to clean up that area uh, also i am moving i am moving into an apartment and um, so that's going to i can start moving in on may 1st i can pick up my keys so i'm actually going to go over to walmart today and pick up some boxes because one of the things that's just sitting in the back of my head is having to move so uh, and the reason I picked May 1st as my move-in date although my lease here at this house isn't up until the end of June it's because I don't want to be rushed to move I want to be able to just uh, put together a few boxes take them over put together a few boxes take them over so it's not like a huge task but I think it would help me out if I've got something in my head knowing that I am moving towards that all right so we're going to put on here Walmart for boxes and tape I also want to go to Publix, so I need to go to Publix for groceries. Um, I also need to cook dinner tonight, so I'm going to put that on here. Uh, I need to wash clothes. So I literally have like three loads of clothes already been washed, already been dried, but they have not been folded. So I've got to fold clothes. And um, I need to vacuum. The floors are nasty. Um, vacuum floors and I think that is it as far as household stuff so that's what the list looks like there um, so I've got all of that done and um, on the list and now for work so we have our officers meeting tomorrow so I need to prepare for it and there is we're changing our retirement company so I need to complete the retirement paperwork 
So I can report that out at our officers meeting tomorrow. And I think that's all I need to do for work that has to get done tonight uh, for, for work. So those are the only two things that I want to do for work. And then what another item I want to put on here is to plan out what tomorrow is supposed to look like. So plan tomorrow's to-do list. Okay, so that is my list. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 items on this list. Um, and I don't like the number 16, so I'm going to put over here, clean up uh, this dining area table because it has papers everywhere and it's really annoying. So that gives us 17 items on the list, which includes our mopping floors. It has top priorities for tomorrow. Don't forget notes. I'm not filling out that side. I'm going to try my best to get as much done on the left as I can. I already feel better just taking it and putting it on paper so I can see what I actually have to do. Uh, it's, it looks like a lot, but it's really not. So I'm, I'm good with that. So I'm going to just work it out, get it done. And hopefully I can come back and say, Hey, look what I did. I got all this stuff completed. So thank you for tuning in and watching me as I wash dishes and write out this uh, list. And hopefully this is helpful to you. If you ever have those moments where you're overwhelmed, uh, just get it out of your head, get it on paper, block and do what you can. Uh, and, and that's it. I kept hearing all weekend people say, don't quit trying to boil the ocean. And you can take that as, as a, a huge picture, like what we do for healthcare is what it was around and trying to fix healthcare, but you can also do that in your own life. It may look like a whole ocean or maybe a, a lake. It, neither one of them you're going to be able to boil. You're just going to have to do bits, pieces by pieces. So that's what I'm going to do today so that I'm not overwhelmed. And right now I already feel better because I did not get back into bed.